Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are talking Thursday flips today on a Wednesday. We're gonna be talking about stuff that you could do today into tomorrow to possibly make some coins on the FIFA Ultimate Team market. Thursday flipping has become one of the most popular ways to, to trade cards on FIFA 20 on a weekly kind of like just flipping schedule kind of thing. And uh, that's gonna continue this week as well a lot of people are on this game a lot of people are playing fit champions and that means a lot of people need to buy teams because there's a lot of stuff going on with sbcs in the midweek people like to buy their teams for the weekend league and sell them after and then have coins during the week so that's why they go back to buy them on thursdays and on fridays we always see a push up in the market after weekend league rewards and i think this week is going to be no different we have a couple things to consider with foot birthday going on possibly people saving packs possibly you know some sbcs and some content from ea that could change some things and of course some people just want to you know get their weekend league rewards so they can go complete some sbc in here so that could also hurt the market rise a little bit but i think that since there's so many people playing weekend league and that there's going to be a pretty big opening this week on rewards and i do think you will see the market rise up i also want to talk about foot birthday cards and their prices this week um First though, today's Wednesday, we're getting a new team of the week moments, right? We're gonna get a new team of the week moment squad that is gonna be out in the game. Uh, these guys are gonna go away. We're gonna get a new set. Um, just be careful because you know some of our Thursday flipping investments, we can look to get some link pickups to the possible new team of the week. Of course, we have no idea who's gonna make it into team of the week. It's basically, um, it's just uh, a shot in the dark at this point because EA just picking a random team of the week from a past FIFA and then uploading that and making it current. That's how they pick team of the weeks now uh, for the moments card. So whatever we get for moments in the team of the week today, um, look at some some possible link investments to those cards. A great example from last week, Mertens last week went up a bunch as a link investment to Nine Golan uh, because Nine Golan's a very usable card. There's not a ton of center mids in the Serie A. I know we got a Ramsey SBC this week, uh, but that's the kind of link investment you could be looking towards this week in foot or today when the new team of the week moments comes out. So that's something to kind of watch for and keep in mind straight off the bat. Now for the rest of Thursday flipping, what kind of cards are we looking at? And you know, how does Thursday flipping work and how's it going to work this week? Well, of course, we're looking at past informs and out of packs. Nothing is changing about that this week. We're looking at the past cards that were in packs that are now out of packs as a promo team. Stuff is decently high on the market right now in terms of past special cards. This Atal card literally just keeps rising. He's such a, a beast card in this game. Look at his price, man. 430k. And now he's up to 580,000 coins on the market. A lot of these shapeshifters are, you know, they're pretty expensive. Uh, Mertens obviously last week was like 220 and now he's 280 because of the, the nine Golan. So that's pretty inflated. I would kind of stay away from some of these guys um, unless they have like, a, like Mar Mares. If you can pick up a Mares at like maybe 250, not 250, that's too low, 280 or something. Uh, if, if you can get a, a buy there. A lot of these, these shapeshifters are really high in price. So I'm not looking as much at those. But old team of the weeks, old promo. Um, those are the kind of cards that you want to look at. And again, last week I kind of told you guys to stick within a budget of like, you know, maybe 250,000 coins as your high budget. This week, you know, those are the, t the type of cards that do the best the stuff that is in that kind of budget just because there's a lot more people in this game that can afford those cards but when we're looking for special cards to flip stick to what you know is op premier league right this um this where's he at this star guy fluctuates every single week for weekend league rewards this tamori is still kind of low right now because of the um because of the Ogbonna SBC, not really making this a buy per se. I'm, I wouldn't suggest this as a, a weekend league rewards flip, but he could go up a little bit. But then good nationalities, you know, good links. That's the stuff that goes up. Basically think about who you play in the weekend league every week. Ikone, right? This guy's 210,000 coins. What is his price usually? He's a French center attacking mid that is very meta. Fits this meta very well. Every single week, this guy goes from like 210 or like 2, 205, 206, 207, all the way up to like 225 to 230. You can get sales at on Thursdays, even though this graph doesn't show it. He has a lot of demand on Thursday. So that's a card you could look at if you see a certain price. But again, I don't like telling you guys specific cards to look at uh, most of the time. I just like telling you guys what types of cards 
to look at, right? Of course, you want to pick meta and you want to pick usable. This Mason Mount right here, 195,000 coins. He's down in price thanks to the Ozil SBC that has come out. He was like 200, and, you know, he hasn't been moving that much anyway, but he's down, you know, 10, 15K because of the Ozil. I don't know if I would really try to flip that card because he is down. Just something to kind of think about. But then again, you're just thinking meta, you're thinking good nationalities and out of packs, right? Especially if a player is like this Goretzka. This, is a, this card I try to flip almost every single week. He's a great flip for me uh, because he's just very rare and there's not a lot of Bayern links and we keep getting more and more Bayern players, right? We keep getting more and more Bayern special cards um, in this game. So Bayern cards are great my opinion and you don't have to look just to these teams as well you can do headliners you can you can flip headliners you can um you can look at some of these older informs team of the group stage cards people still use group stages ter stegen look think about how many people are buying ter stegen every week as he is known as the best keeper in the game where's his graph up to 117k down to 110 um and uh he was 117 118 on the weekend so all it takes is another big um a big you know rise in the market this week how how much was he during the day today boom he hits points where he's 105 if you snag this guy at 105 on uh, on the playstation that's a fantastic buy um to be honest i'm gonna check right now because that's a, a price that i would be totally fine with getting almost at any point uh with this team of the group stage for stegen that would be a beautiful beautiful price to get on this card now i want to talk about buying time because i've talked to you guys about some cards i'll talk to you about a few more cards in a minute but I want to talk about buy and sell times. You guys that watch these videos every week know kind of what we're looking for in the sell time. Because we're in the middle of a birthday and there's the possibility for some big time SBCs, um, I want you guys, if you're flipping these cards, I want you to be out of them and not have them in your clubs by 6 p.m. UK time on Thursday. Now, I know it's a bit of a time crunch, right? I know that can be a little bit of a time crunch because um, at some points... You know, if everybody's investing in Thursday flips, then it, once we get close to that 6 p.m. UK on on Thursday after rewards come out, when the new content's coming, there's a lot of people that are ending up selling and prices go down. Now, you can risk it if you want to and hold through into Friday morning a little bit, uh, but I would sell by like early Friday morning, Thursday night before the panic starts to hit because we're probably going to get uh, another loading screen on Thursday for the new cards that could be in the second set of foot birthday. Uh, and that's something that I just wanna make sure that you're aware of and that you know is coming because I would expect that on Thursday of this week, uh, a new loading screen kind of promoing maybe some new cards with the positions and you know the ratings and stuff, kind of how we, like we got the center attack in mid and the striker uh, loading screen for the first set of foot birthday. I think we'll get that on Thursday. That's why I'm advising to get your sales by 6 p.m. UK. It's a short window, but it's very doable because a lot of people end up buying cards. And especially since so many people are on the game right now, it's a great opportunity to pick up on some of those players. Next thing I wanna show you guys. Next thing I wanna show you guys is you don't always have to look through team of the weeks. And a lot of times I look at special cards because those are cards that are out of packs. They don't have any supply. These other cards in here, you have to search by it players because they don't have an actual like squad in footbin to look up. Uh, I want to look at team of the year nominees. These cards last week did fantastic. I think that the casuals on this game, since there's a lot more casuals playing FIFA right now, maybe or maybe just more people in general that have come back to foot um, just based on the, um, the times right now with, with the whole virus situation and people being home. A lot of these Team of the Week moments cards last week did phenomenal. This Kevin De Bruyne last week was in Team of the Week, of course, and I think that might have helped this case a little bit. But look at what he does every week, man. Early in the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 220,000 coins. The weekend hits, he's 240. Next weekend, 228 on Wednesday, boom. 250 on Friday. Uh, and that means he's probably selling at like 260 on the Thursday, right? When there's not as much, you know supply going on and there's a lot more buying last week he went from 240 which i specifically remember seeing this card at actually 230k and he went up to 260 i specifically remember seeing this card at 280 at one point during the weekend as well these team of the year nominee cards are fantastic flips because they have dynamic images they're cheaper than a lot of the other special cards that these players have and wow ramos 159 um is my mind escaping me or is that a low price wow man that is a low price can i go get myself a, a moments ramos right now 
I know that a lot of people have the Ramos as the right back SBC, and that hurts this guy's rise a little bit. Uh, but if you can get this guy like under 160, maybe if I maybe I'll see if I can get like a one, maybe a 160 low ish. Yeah, 160 right there. Maybe I'll pass on this 159 if it's still up because I want to see a little bit lower. But um, this is the type of card that goes up. You saw on the graph, right? We'll head back to the graph. This guy went from 156 last week to 169, so 170k. Now you have to remember tax here. So there's you would think there's not a lot of profit there for tax. But he actually was probably selling at like 170k on Thursday, uh, like there. What card? I flipped the team of the year nominee last week. Who was it? Was it Sun? I think it was Sun. I bought a Sun last week at 277 on Wednesday night, and I sold him at over 300,000 coins. The graph doesn't look that good, but he definitely fluctuates, fluctuates, and especially some of these guys down here on the lower budgets too. This Lewandowski last week. Whoa, 75k. This guy's 75k. What? He was 86k last week. Wow. That's kind of a drop off, man. Interesting. Um, but some of these lower level cards too, um, they they do very well on the weekend league flips. Like a Fabinho, you wouldn't think that he does that well. A Frankie de Young, he does pretty well. Even like this Trent right back card, I think, does pretty well too. So look at these cards and look at man of the matches, UCL and regular man of the matches, because these guys have very rare supply. Um, Rebich last week, man. Last week, this Rebich card was 86K on Wednesday night. And I told people, please buy this card for 86K. Uh, it was like right here. He is low. Look what happened on the weekend. My dude goes up. Now he's over 110K as a man of the match card. These cards are very, very rare. So these are great cards to look at as well. Delhi even went up last week. And Naki Williams is down to 83K because he does have this man of the match item. that's 130. But this is a very, very rare card. So I might keep my eyes on this this week. Um, just to see how high the, the moments card goes. If this card keeps going up, then the man of the match card will follow that sooner or later. So keep an eye on man of the matches as well. Now, gold cards, gold OP usable meta that again, that's the cards we're going to be looking at this week. These are the types of cards you can look at as well. Salah last week looks like he hit a point of 91,000 coins with all the packs being opened. He's down to 80 K. This is more of a speculative play. This Salah card right here for me, this is one that might be different. If you think Salah is getting into the promo team for the second week, week two, which if there's anybody that gets in, Salah definitely has a shot because of his three-star weak foot and how, you know, just hyped up he is as a foot player. If this card gets in, uh, obviously his gold card would go up because he would be out of packs. Who's an example from this week? I think Griezmann. I think Griezmann's card and Mbappe's cards both went up a lot last week because their gold cards were out of packs as the special cards were in. Griezmann's 57K. Yeah, last week you went from 44 to 62K on the weekend. So this is a bit of a speculative play. Um, but if you want to gamble on it, I would not be too mad about if you wanted to buy Salah this week to try to flip for weekend league. This could be a buy in like the mid, mid 70s um, on the Xbox, like 75, 76, 77K. And then on or on the PlayStation, and then on the Xbox, I want to see you get him at 70k or below, if possible. And I'm going to be considering taking a couple of these Salas as well, because if he does get into loading screen, and you know if he does get into the team for a birthday, then you're probably going to want to sell this guy um, a little bit later than than Thursday at 6 p.m. UK, because at Thursday, if it gets leaked that he's out, uh, his price would probably peak on Saturday. Saturday. Wow, that was a terrible voice crack. My apologies, but take a look at the Salah, 75, 76,000 coins. Don't go crazy with it because again, it's only speculative, but if even if he doesn't get into the team, I do think this guy before lightning rounds on Friday could be an 85, 86, 87,000 uh, coin card. So you make uh, maybe four to 5K per card there on that one. And then Hyunmin Sun, this one interests me a lot too. One of the most popular strikers in the game. Um, as a gold card, I know these guys got hit with a lot of supply this week because of all the lightning rounds and the packs that were put out. Uh, but I still think these guys will rise. Um, the meta gold cards, right? Sun, uh, maybe a guy like a Bamiang, maybe an Aguero. Um, you know, guys like that, the me popular meta gold cards, you can take a look at them as well. But again, I like to stick to my special cards because the special cards for me, um, they just do better because there's less supply of them on the market. So you basically just need less people on this game to want to go buy them in order for them to rise. I bought some Dignes at 140,000 coins earlier this week 
um, when Amavi came out. He's already up 10K very nicely. Uh, this guy, because Amavi's going away soon, this guy could be 160, 170K um, come this week as well. So again, your buy time for these cards, anytime Wednesday after 6 p.m. UK. So today, wait until 6 p.m. UK to buy these cards just in case we get a big time SBC. Just in case we get a big time SBC, I would wait to buy these cards and then I would um, try to go in late with rewards. For foot birthday cards, I haven't talked about these yet. This might be a little bit of a longer video because I want to cover this too. Antoine Griezmann, right? This is a 1.5 mil card. He's been dropping in price. I think these cards are going to drop into rewards on Thursday. This Griezmann, there's a lot of supply on these cards. I think people are going to start selling them before rewards because a lot of people this week have been saying, watch out, rewards is going to drop these cards' as price just because they're going to get packed, right? Is rewards going to drop the price? Probably a little bit, but the panic before rewards, watch and see how major it is because that could actually be the buy time for these cards just as long as we don't get a guaranteed SBC. After rewards though, I do see these cards going up because they're so cool with the weak foot upgrades, with the skill move upgrades. A lot of people want these cards. Do you want to invest in them? I'm going to say no, you don't want to because they're still in packs technically. I would not touch these cards unless you want to buy one for your team uh, during rewards or before rewards. I would just watch their prices and see how much they drop before um, that rewards period. If there's a lot of panic selling going on, you know, three, four hours, even two hours before rewards, that could be a situation you pick up on. But then I would want to get out of them because I think we're still do a big SBC this week. I don't know what it is. But I think something is coming. So just be careful. Be careful with that. Like a flashback or a foot birthday SBC. I feel like we're due another one. Today they kind of took the day off. Uh, we, we only got a foot 12 pack SBC today. So uh, with these cards, I think there'll be some panic selling headed into rewards. Then a little bit of a rise afterwards as people try to buy these for their weekend league teams. Now, are these cards really investable out of packs? I'm going to say you could do better things with your coins, honestly, in my opinion. Um, some of them will go up for sure. Like St. Maxim, I think will go up, but I, it's going to be hard to time that low point and that riskiness for me. There's much other less risky ways to make coins on a Thursday in this game. So I don't think I want to invest in those. I would only buy one of those on Wednesday night or Thursday during rewards if you want it for a team buy for this upcoming weekend league. Now, the only things that might hurt are flipping this week. Are people saving their packs? I don't think as many people are going to be saving their packs for rewards as they did last week, because this week we have foot birthday cards that are in packs right now. So of course the, the new ones are going to be coming, um, but people have the packs. They know that these cards are in the game right now and in packs. So they're going to open their rewards. I think that won't hurt a ton. The other thing that I think could hurt rewards a little bit is if we have a big time SBC that is out that people want to go complete, right? People are chipping away at these player of the month. Still people are chipping away at middle icon SBCs. So that could hurt a little bit of the price um, of some of our players off of rewards that if they maybe don't rise up as much just because people are doing SBCs instead. So look at fodder during rewards. If you see SBC fodder take a hit during rewards, there's a decent chance that we get a decent SBC player on Thursday as well. Uh, that could be kind of a, a quick flip investment for you guys uh, there as well. So again, just to recap, Thursday flipping this week is a full thumbs up, a full go for me. I'm probably going to go 10 million coins deep into uh, special cards. I'm going to be looking at open bids, you know, a couple hours before rewards because I'm awake at that time. And that's a great time to look at some of those cards um, because people sell cards before rewards because they want to get their coins and get ready for what's coming, right? Um, if you want to look at icons, uh, since I'm on a higher budget, I'll show you a couple of the icons that I look at every week. Middle Essien. Uh, if you're going to look at icons, look at middle icons and baby icons that are out of packs, uh, because the ones that are popular, the ones that are, you know, very usable in this game that a lot of people buy for their teams, they do tend to go down a little bit before rewards. Like if I see this Makalele down at like 400 K flat on Wednesday night, if I can get him for low 400s, I will absolutely buy that because I th he'll probably be like 450, 460, um, after rewards and the big thing with those cards is they're out of pack so if you're going to do icons if you're on a higher budget um stick to the babies and the middles and if you're on a lower budget if you're on a lower budget look for some of those informs in like the 50k range it only if, if you only have 500k 
you can buy a couple informs that are in that 50K range that could do very, 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 very well for you, right? Theo Hernandez, this is a guy that I'm reminded of. How much is his like lowest inform? How much is this card? Um, I want the, the special version, please. EA Sports. The special version, 81 rated Theo Hernandez. A very good card. French left back, still usable in this game. I hate how this filter resets uh, every time you go into the search and come back out. So Theo Hernandez is 50, 53,000 coins, right? This might be a card. I don't know if that's actually his price or if it's inflated right now, but this is the kind of card you could look at and look at his flipping graph, see if he rises up and down, look at some of the cheaper team of the week moments or man of the match cards. Again, think meta, think usable, think about the cards you see in people's weekend league teams. Those are the cards that go up every week because you see them in weekend league, right? People got to buy their team. So if you enjoyed this video tonight, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. The Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.